supposed to be excited, right, Stephanie? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, it is that time again where we introduce you to a furry friend from the Wildlife World Zoo. And today, Christy Morcom, the education specialist from the zoo, she is here telling us about the fennec fox. Just such a sweet little guy, or a little girl. Little girl. What's uh, her name? Her name is Gizmo. She is a female fennec fox. And these fennec foxes are really sweet. Uh, she is very sweet. We've had her since she was a baby. She's about three and a half years old right now. Do they get much big? This is probably as big as she's going to get. Yeah, she's full grown. These are the world's smallest wild dogs. And full grown, they only get to be about Wait, three pounds. Wait, this is part of the dog family. A wild dog, so uh, foxes are part of that family. Oh, okay. she's just getting oh. a little comfortable. Okay, yeah, she is. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Let's just move that off your leg a little bit. Accident. There you go. It's you know what it there happens. Yeah. Three-year-olds, you never know what they're gonna do. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's not gonna get any bigger. Three pounds is full grown, so they are part of the fox family, and they're the smallest member. Now, um, do they bite or? They can definitely bite. She's sweet. Um, being hand raised and used to being around people, but they do have very sharp teeth. They're opportunistic eaters, so they eat just about anything they can catch, whether it's a snake, a lizard, a mouse, an insect. And if they catch something, what do you something, feed her at the zoo? She gets a specialized diet of fruits, veggies, insects. Um, it's this food that's kind of like a dog cat food that's high in protein. Okay, so that's what they would get out in the wild. Now, I'm sure that there's a reason for her big ears. Yes, there so is. So please tell us, besides <laughs> naming her Gizmo, there had right. to be another reason. Absolutely. Her ears actually serve a couple of different purposes. For one, she has excellent hearing. She's able to hear large insects crawl across the desert sand. As you can imagine, they don't make a lot of noise, so these ears are going to help her be an excellent hunter. And secondly, these ears keep her nice and cool. She has large blood vessels in her ears, so the blood travels up to the tops of her ears. The air cools the blood off, and the cooler blood goes back down to her body, which is very important being found in the Sahara Desert in Africa. They're from a climate so similar to ours. Okay. It's it really hot there. It's really dry. So she's an animal that's very well adapted to our hot Arizona heat. Well, I don't know if folks can see this, but she has some Hi. <laughs> she has fur underneath her little paws. She does. And that fur in her paws is going to protect them on the hot sand, especially when they're doing all that digging, because when they dig, they dig so quickly, sometimes it looks like they're melting into the sand. They can disappear right in front of your eyes. What's everyone laughing at? Does it look like she's waving? <laughs> oh, she's going like this with her little uh, princess fox I think she paw. liked the paw massage you were giving Oh, did she like that? Maybe she did. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we'll do that to her and she'll fall asleep. Well, what is it like out there at the Wildlife World Zoo right now? I mean, the weather is getting hot, but are there still lots of animals that come out? And lots of animals and still having babies, our baby animal nursery. We have an African blue diker. We have Wait, what's an African storks. blue diker? I've actually brought one on the show before. Is that a bird? It's a, she looks like a miniature deer. Oh, with the okay. little horns. Really cute. We had a zebra just born. Uh, we, a zebra! The cutest thing are ever. Are they born with their black and white? They are. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah, and they're not as small as you would think they would be born, but they're still really small in comparison to the mom, but they're pretty good size right. being born. And we just got some hyenas, too. Well, there is a lot going on at the zoo, obviously, and there's a lot to see. And this little guy or little girl is so cute. Unfortunately, they can't be little house pets because it would be really fun. Right. <laughs> so thank you so much, Christy, for coming on the show. We are going to have all of the information. How about right here? The Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium, they are open every single day of the year. Even in the summertime, they want you to go on out there. They're at the corner of Loop 303 and Northern in Litchfield Park. You can give them a call at 623-935-WILD. More information online at wildlifeworld.com. You know, Andy.